Double kill. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? My name is Zero Shot. You are watching some Black Ops 2 Team Deathmatch, and this game starts off kind of bad, because I get stuck in the face right there. Man, that just shows you. That just shows you the competition I'm facing this match. Uh, it's kind of weird, me and my brother facing this down to the wire. You get to see a different side of arrow shot. A side of arrow shot where I'm trying really, really hard to win, and I'm not succeeding too well until the very end. Wink, wink, you'll see that. So enjoy that, but first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to say. First things first, I've been occupied with something, so I have have not been able to upload as often as I would have liked. So that's unfortunate. Uh, while I have been a little bit away from YouTube, I did watch Frozen for the first time, so the song... Do you wanna build a snowman? It's kind of in my head all the time, everywhere around my mind, and I can't get it. <laughs> Every oh, oh, baby, if I'm going down with that C4, you're going down with me. <laughs> I give that guy a little present like Santa Claus. Call me Santa, baby. Blowing up trucks and liking it. <laughs> now, I didn't know what to do in that situation, so I was like, heck, screw it. You know, if this guy might win, beat me in that gunfight, he's not gonna get the satisfaction of staying alive, so. Frozen's in my head. We're talking about blowing up C4s and trucks and whatnot. But there is an important topic I want to talk about. I want to talk about paying it forward. I want to talk about something I read about in the news that really, really got me interested. Now, in Florida, the Starbucks, you guys, know what Starbucks is? There's a Starbucks chain, uh, there's a drive through actually. And 378 people in a row since 6 a.m. in the morning were paying for the next guy's drink. They were paying a drink ahead of them. And why did this happen? You know, why? where did this kind gesture come from? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. All I know is that's a really sick thing to do. So there's 378 people doing it. For some reason, this dimwit, <laughs> for number 379, he went up there, he was like, uh, you know, someone just paid for my drink. Should I pay for the guy in front of me? Should I pay for, that guy so I can make his day and for some reason this guy's like heck screw it no you know what I ain't gonna cut it with me so he's like you know what screw y'all thanks for the free Starbucks thanks for that sugar in my system but uh, y'all can go drink some coffee by yourself <laughs> I ain't gonna pay for a stuntedly squat and I was like what 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 are you serious? You're going to break a chain of 378 people doing it? And, you know, people could do what they want. And I'm not here to judge you, even though I am judging you. Um, you know, do what you want. Do what you want. But here's what I think. I think that if you don't have the interaction and the generosity and just the goodwill in your life, you're not going to have a very quality-filled life, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, take, for example, the man... Squidward tentacles <laughs> and I'm not sure how exactly how valid of a like a philosophical point I could make by using Squidward tentacles all I know is Squidward is the best dude Squidward is a boss <laughs> but yeah man this dude is always bitter he's <laughs> he's always trying to I don't know what he's trying to do he, he's never a happy guy and a lot of times it ends up him getting the small, the short end of the stick when it comes to these Spongebob episodes. That was a horrible C4 toss, might I add. And, dude, it's it's just just really bad when you don't have that sort of goodwill to other people. And you're, always, you're just bitter all the time. Oh, it's bad. And I understand people having a chip on the shoulder. Whatever people think they have something to prove. But, uh, you gotta have, you gotta have some sort of goodwill in your life, man. Because I'm telling you, it, it's not gonna work, and... That's one, I'm, I'm a firm believer in paying it forward. You know why? Because when I first started YouTube, I've been there. I've been where a lot of small other YouTubers have been. And right now I'm at 2,700 subscribers and, you know, it's whatever. I love it. It's big, but it took, it took me a while to get there and I'm really proud of the work that I put in. But I've been there. I've, when I started, I was asking XJaws. White boy, I was like, hey man, can you check out my channel? I sent him a message, and I, bear in mind, I was maybe 16 years old at this time, and I wasn't, obviously I wasn't as mature as what I was now, but 
I, I really wanted, like, these big guys that I looked up to so much to, you know, believe in me and, you know, give me a shout out, help me grow, whatever. And it didn't work. And it finally, I did get recognized by some guys who, the really good guys in the community, the people who do pay it forward, I have the hugest amount of respect for them. Um, I got recognized by Thunderstruck Gaming. Uh, he allowed me to post on his channel. Which was sweet. I also got shouted out by my man Jive Turkey 600, and it it was freaking awesome. Um, you know he had to, he didn't have to do it. So if you look at the score, dude, we just caught up big time. 73 to 74, 74 to 74, 75 to 74, son. Oh my voice! I can't go any higher than that. If I do, pretty sure you guys are gonna have a aneurysm in your brain. So I uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about the, the commentary. Um, you know, obviously the gameplay was, I, you know, I didn't do so hot, but we got the victory, which was awesome. Uh, but let me know what you think about Ping It Forward. You know, I'd be curious to hear your opinion, because I do make these videos for you. So, thank you for watching this video. My name is Zero Shot, and I am over and out.